Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I wanted to address a problem that many leather workers have. And that is how to tell apart these three different tools. We have a pricking iron, a stitching chisel, as well as a lacing chisel. These three tools are basically very similar in look, but very different in function. So in this video, I'm going to show you the differences between these three. With that said, let's begin. So the first tool that we're going to take a look at is the pricking iron. This tool is used exclusively in order to mark the stitches into your leather. Then you use an awl in order to pierce the stitches. Then you can stitch the leather together. So this tool only marks the stitches. Then we pierce them with the awl. By using an awl, we can regulate the depth to which we pierce our leather, which is the most accurate and quality method that you can use in order to stitch your leather. But it is also not the simplest to master. You need to learn how to position your awl at the right angle. You need to avoid basically piercing yourself while you're stitching. And you need to learn how to maintain the blade of your awl in order to get nice and consistent stitching. So this method is the most traditional and the one that requires the most skill. As you can see, the pricking iron only makes the stitching line by marking it. If we take a harness needle, we can't push it through without piercing it first with the awl. As you can also see, the stitching line is slanted. The second tool is a stitching chisel. The stitching chisel is very similar to the pricking iron, but instead of only marking the stitches, it also pierces them. Basically, it's like having six little old blades already piercing the leather while you mark it. As such, it is a faster way of doing your stitches, but it does not allow you to control the depth to which you're going to pierce the leather. As such, it is an ideal tool for beginners, but if you want to have greater control over your stitching, then you would use a pricking iron and the awl. All in all, this is a very enjoyable tool to use. The stitching chisel makes holes that are ready for stitching. As such, you can pierce the holes already with your harness needles. The last tool is the lacing chisel. The lacing chisel and the stitching chisel are often confused for each other. This is because they have a similar purpose. They make holes into leather directly. But this one, the lacing chisel, is used in order to set up holes for lacing, such as border lacing or center lacing. The other one, the stitching chisel, is only used for stitching. As you can see, the lacing chisel makes holes that we are able to pass through with a lacing needle and the holes are horizontal unlike the ones made with a pricking iron which are slanted in order to get you a nicer stitching line. 
So guys, if you're now able to accurately distinguish between these three tools, then this video did its job. Thank you for joining me and see you next time.